let me introduce to you what is diathermy. Diathermy is a high frequency electromagnetic energy used to create thermal and subthermal therapy. It has a carrier frequency of 27.12 megahertz. What diathermy does is it stimulates ion acceleration or molecular vibration, which is converted into heat and is either delivered in pulsed or continuous mode. There are two methods utilized throughout the world to deliver diathermy. Let me start out with the first method, which is the capacitive method. What it is, is the body part is put between two electrodes, an electrical field between those two electrodes forming a capacitor. This radiation produces a warming effect within this field. It heats superficial tissue, high density tissue, and is heated, it usually heats skin, tendon, ligament, joint capsules, and bone. The electrodes can either be capacitive plates or a rubber electrode. Let's talk about the second type of delivery of diathermy. It's called the inductive method. The body area is put within a high frequency magnetic field produced from a coil inside a drum applicator. It produces a high frequency current within the tissue. It effectively heats tissue of load impedance, such as muscles. Thus, the inductive method is the preferable way for heating deep tissue. The type of electrodes commonly used are a drum applicator such as this one, or a diplode, which is a, a, like a folding paddle type device. The inductive method is the most common utilized method for delivering diathermy in the US. There are two indications for use of shortwave diathermy, thermal and non-thermal. In the non-thermal side, we're looking for promotion of tissue healing, pain relief, improved resolution of edema, on the thermal side, we're looking for pain relief, relaxation of muscle spasm, increased localized blood flow, joint contractures, decreased joint stiffness, chronic inflammation, trigger points, and soft tissue tightness in pre-stretch. As with all modalities used in physical medicine, there is a list of cautions and contraindications for use. Shortwave diathermy is in, not indicated for use over neoplasms, pregnancy, metal in an area either worn or implanted over an acute injury or hemorrhage site. Should not use it with cardiac pacemakers and other types of electrical implants, including cochlear implants, bone growth stimulators, and spinal cord stimulators. And it should not be used with implanted neurostimulation devices such as a Medtronic type. If you're looking for a complete listing of all cautions and contraindications, please refer to the user manual provided with your device. We like to compare shortwave diathermy to other thermal modalities used in physical medicine. Let's start with hot packs or hot water immersion or paraffin. They have limited results because the depth of penetration in comparison to diathermy is only one to two centimeters in depth, as compared to shortwave diathermy, which achieves a five centimeter depth of penetration of heat. The other problem is, is that when you look at the research articles done by Draper, the required or desired temperature increase of three to four degrees Celsius is unattainable, unattainable with these types of modalities without creating trauma to the skin. In comparison to the other heat modality, ultrasound, Shortwave diathermy is very similar in its delivery of heat. What the Draper study showed was that at one megahertz, both diathermy and ultrasound deliver an increase in temperature very similarly. But the big thing that, he, that they found was that ultrasound became very ineffective when he got outside treating more than two times the effective radiating area of the applicator the degradation of the heat was too much that you couldn't achieve that three to four degree temperature range required for a good stretch. The other big difference between shortwave diathermy and ultrasound is the lasting effect for the stretch cycle. He found that the diathermy heat lasted three times as long as compared to the ultrasound, effectively giving you a 10 minute window of stretch as comparison to a three minute window with using ultrasound. So in conclusion, he found that 
again, when we're trying to heat and stretch larger tissues, diathermy was a much more effective modality as compared to ultrasound. 